my channel and happy Halloween. In today's video, I'm going to be transforming myself into a Powerpuff Girl, Buttercup to be exact. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who was obsessed with the Powerpuff Girls when I was growing up and Buttercup was always my favorite. I just feel like she resonated with me on a deeper level than any of the other Powerpuff Girls did. So I thought it'd be fun to dress up as Buttercup this year, especially since I didn't do anything last year for Halloween because of the pandemic. So I feel like this is a great little turnaround to do something, have fun on Halloween and do something that's a little bit different for me because I normally don't go out out for Halloween costumes like this honestly but this year I am I even got a custom made outfit off Etsy like we're going all out for this Halloween really honestly with that being said let's go ahead and get into today's video so I already prepped my face I did my brows because I feel really awkward like doing my brows when people are watching even if it's like on a camera I feel very weird doing it I put some concealer on some like little, little dark spots I have and the next thing I'm gonna do is my eyeshadow and that's the one thing I was worried about doing for this entire look I was like I just I'm not sure eyeshadow was not my thing like I well actually let me not say that eyeshadow I can do eyeshadow as long as like I take my time but I feel like that's anybody you have to take your time doing the eyeshadow I got my palette I picked out a look I will put it on the screen so you guys know the type of look I'm going for I've been I was searching Google when I was looking for different images to go with because I'm not that good eyeshadow where I can just start combining colors and just do it myself I have to look up pictures I can't I can't do that so I was looking at pictures on green eyeshadow cut crease because I really kind of want to do a cut crease because I love the way it looks but today there was too much at stake to do this without looking up some inspiration and we're gonna go ahead and follow the tutorial for that one have my big palette I, I don't have a main brand I should have palette I got this off Amazon and I love it because it's it's just it's a big palette and it has blush highlight and just all these glitter colors like I just feel like it has a good amount of options in here but that's just me I do want a Morphe eyeshadow palette but I just don't <laughs> I just don't want to get it because I don't do eyeshadow enough for me to want to spend 40 bucks for an eyeshadow palette so that's that all right so the first thing i'm gonna do is just go in with a light green i just don't know how green is gonna look on me either that's what also makes me nervous but you know i committed we're doing it also i always feel like i do one side better than the other but i need to concentrate so i'm gonna do one side really fast and then we'll we'll we'll, I'll, we'll, we'll talk then Okay, this is what we're doing with so far. Not too bad, not too shabby. I wasn't sure how green was gonna look on me. I wasn't sure at all, but so far, it doesn't look too, too bad. Also, I do eyeshadow first before I do foundation just because I'm not good at eyeshadow and there was a time when I have to keep redoing my eyeshadows so that I have to wipe my eyes and I prefer not to do that when I have foundation already on my face. I always feel like I'm not holding the brush right up. Okay, the green looks so good. I cannot comprehend this, okay. I'm getting excited, I don't know why. It's looking good so far. Let me not jinx it. Let me not say too much. FYI, I'm literally following a tutorial right now. Like, at this exact moment, I'm following a tutorial. I can't even, you can't even see it on camera at this point well at least i can't see it because i have my glasses on that's why i can't see this is so dark like i've never done a dark eyeshadow like this before like a smoky eye because this is like smoky like green eye i've never done something like this before and i've definitely never done green before that's definitely different i i tend to stick with the same colors with eyeshadow and literally if you go into my palette i have a blue palette that um it's my one i use the most and you can see which two or three colors i use the most i don't really experiment all that much except when it comes to like stuff like this and i only have to watch videos like i am right now to like guide me through the process because i can't do it by myself because i'm just not that experienced to do this like i don't like i feel like i'd have i, I feel like i could have did this by myself i could have let's be real i could have i could have but i overthink too much so that kind of slows down the whole process of it and now we got to my favorite part where we get to make the crease line i don't know why it's my favorite part like it's just so satisfying I feel like I look a hot mess right now. Honestly, I feel like it came out better than I thought it was going to come out. Like, it's looking a lot better than what it was when I made the cut crease. I'm kind of fixing it because I messed up with the cut crease. It looks nothing like the picture, um, in my opinion. It looks nothing like the picture. Am I wrong to think that? I don't think I am. It doesn't look like it at all. <coughs> It could, it could it could look worse than what it looks like right now. Right now, I feel like I was just working with the colors that I had and they worked because I don't have the exact colors. I feel like this looks good. It looks nice and even. 
I feel like that's good enough for me that it looks even. I'm happy with it. We're gonna move on. I will put some wing liner on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation. And then I'm just gonna be really gentle going around my eye applying it so I don't mess anything up. And then I'll go in with my concealer when I go in my concealer and to really like get a sharp little cut of it. This feels so weird doing my makeup on camera. And I'm not a makeup expert, so I feel like I'm always doing the makeup wrong. I most definitely am doing my makeup wrong most of the time, honestly. I just, you know, I gotta do what works for me. Okay, so now that I'm done applying my foundation, I'm just gonna go in and do my concealer. Now I'm just gonna go in with some powder. I'm done with the major stuff. I just need to do my lashes, finish up my eyeshadow, and I need to do my eyeliner. And I gotta do my lips. And then we can get the outfit on and get the whole thing rolling and really get to see what this whole thing looks like. Honestly, right now, from what I see, I feel like I look creepy on camera. Like my eyes look creepy, and I think it's just because they look naked without my lashes on. So eyeliner is not my strong suit. So I'm gonna go in and try to do like a wing liner. The good thing about this one is that this eyeshadow is so dark that I feel like it will kind of hide it for the most part, so that I don't have to like worry about it too much. And I honestly could just follow like the line I made for myself. It's hidden. It's not perfect, obviously, but it's hidden well enough where it's like it's not even there, honestly. And that's all that matters to me. It looks messy. Um, you know what? And that's fine, though. The, the liner never comes out right for me. I've learned to accept it, and I've learned to live with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish like the rest of my eyeshadow, like at the bottom of my eye, and just be done with like around my eye altogether. The lashes that I'm wearing today. But they're like a nice blend of like extra and not extra at the same time. See, I already feel like the wing liner, you can't even see it. Like, you can't even see it. It's not even there. Yeah, the lashes definitely did it. They, they did it for me. I'm gonna do my lips really fast. I wanna do this um, ombre look for my lips. I think black's more buttercup speed. I think I like it. I feel like I, I like how this came out. I, it wasn't like that at first when I was doing it. Now I'm just gonna go in and add some color to my face so I don't look too washed out. That might be a little too much blush, but whatever. And then now we're gonna go in with some highlight. So I'm done with my makeup completely. Now we get to the fun part, which is the part I'm actually looking forward to, not the makeup, because the makeup actually stressed me out a bit because I was so nervous that none of it was gonna come out the way I wanted it to. I'm gonna put my wig on, the wig I have that has bangs on it because Buttercup is like signature with bangs, so. Okay, so I feel like my makeup looks a less harsh now that I have like the wig on. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put my nails on, or actually I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put on my jewelry first just because they're, they're press on nails, and I'm just gonna like tape them on just because I'm not planning to wear them long term. I'm like, so I'm doing jewelry first. The jewelry is literally just a necklace <laughs> or a set of necklaces. These two, it's just like these two plain gold necklaces and then the necklace that says Aries on it. And I decided to wear this because Buttercup screams Aries energy to me and I'm an Aries. So therefore she's gonna be Aries today. Okay. I feel like that looks cute. Now I'm just gonna go in and put on my nails. Let me show you guys what they look like really fast. They're just these green coffin nails and they come with these little sticky tabs. I'm just gonna use to put on my nails because I don't want them to be permanent like I said before. I'll text you guys when I'm done doing my nails completely. So the nails are on. That means that it's time to get dressed and show you guys the final reveal of me as Buttercup. So let's get us the reveal. Ryan literally. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the final reveal of me as a buttercup. This outfit is from Etsy. I ordered off official shop and she makes custom costumes and she has a bunch of different options. So I will link it down below. So my combat boots are from Miss Lola's. I will link those down below as well. And then my nails from Sheen and my wig is from and the jewelry is machine as well. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have made this far in the video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and comment and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.